Rowan, what do you think, Rowan? I know you have grown up surrounded by so much greenery all around you, but come on, little buddy, it's your very first feast of the winter star tree. Oh, this is so fantastic. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mosley Farm here in Stardew Valley, and we are with my little son, Rowan, as he looks on in shock at this big, beautiful winter tree that we have just put up to decorate for the season. So let's say good morning to my lovely wife, because we have a very busy day of cracking open omni geodes and crossing our fingers to hopefully be able to snag that prismatic shard from within uh, but hopefully it's a lucky day for that I wonder if Roan will grow up to be a farmer like you. Well, he does seem to like trees. Oh, and speaking of trees, we cut down our very own Christmas tree yesterday while clear cutting a small patch of pine trees that will hopefully end up becoming our new deer clearing, our new deer uh, little valley that we're going to be building down in the southwest corner of our farm. So that's going to be fun. We need to definitely go out and we need to uh, check with Robin to see if she'd be willing to build that for us. All right, because we need, uh, what do you mean? I have five beans. <laughs> I guess they have to all be of the same type. But Robin will hopefully be willing to build us a new barn. Let's give Leia her coffee for the morning. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Wonderful, Leia's happy. And then let's make some food. I actually, let's make a chocolate cake. We're just gonna go ahead and my family is gonna get to eat chocolate cake today because that seems amazingly delicious. So there we go there. Rowan's climbing into the trees and plants just as he should as my son, of course. I have ancient fruit wine to sell. Let's check on the ancient fruit wine in the cellar. And we're gonna go ahead and visit Robin quickly today so we can start her working on the barn that we need for the deer so that hopefully I'll have enough wood left over that we can make a lot of kegs and add them to our cellar. Dun, 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 dun. Where we have them going 24 seven, making some delicious ancient fruit juice, AKA ancient fruit wine for us. Oh yeah, and let's check up to see what the all of the TV has to say for the day. Oh, and it's Evelyn's birthday. I'm gonna make another birthday cake for her. Let's see, weather report, clear and sunny all day, fortune teller. They're in good humor, yes, all right. If the spirits are in good humor, I'm gonna crack open our geodes and we're gonna see what we get. Oh, and what's this? We've got another message. Hello? Oh, cool. Um, hello, sorry I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many and I thought you might need it. From Clint the blacksmith. That is so kind of him. We're actually gonna go visit Clint today. I'm gonna go ahead and give him back the, the iron bar actually because that might make a good gift for him. There we go, I'm gonna put that away. But yeah, we're not gonna dally on the farm too much today. I need to pick up my hoe from Clint, take all of these geodes for him to be able to process, uh, visit with Robin. As usual, we start off our day supremely busy, but it's always, I always love what we do. Here, we'll take a copper bar to him because he loves copper bars just as much as the others and they're a lot cheaper to give away. All right, so let's do this. Uh, I don't think I need anything from checking in here really quickly. Ooh, look at all these avocados or artichoke, excuse me. That's fantastic. Um, it's gonna take me a hot minute to actually go through and collect up and harvest everything in here. Oh my goodness, so much, so much. Okay, let's grab this. There we go, there we go. There's just so much to gather. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe, can you put a Junimo hut inside of your greenhouse? Because that would be fantastic. Look at how much of the green tea we're gonna have now that all of that just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have more green tea. In fact, I'm gonna drink some green tea right now. I'm gonna have more green tea than I even know what to do with. That's amazing. All right, not to mention, I could potentially have more coffee beans than I knew what to do with, with all of this. But now that we have green tea, we can move around really quickly. I love that tea mod. A little bit overpowered, but not, not enough that it, I'm gonna like turn away from it forever. All right, there we go. We'll sell those, sell these, gotcha. All right, feel good about what we did in there. The dinosaurs are now auto-fed, which makes me so happy. I don't have to worry about them starving anymore. Yay, hello everyone. Not feeling like laying your eggs today, huh? That's just fine. And we had a new little dinosaur hatch last time too. Plenty of room for more. All right, come along, Roastone. We'll go ahead and sell some of our eggplants and everything really quickly. And in fact, I could go straight to Pierre. I think I may go straight to Pierre today. Oh, there's Pam. Good morning, Pam. We'll just ride, ride like the wind, Rose Stone. 
<laughs> Too bad there's not horse racing here like there used to be in the other harvest moons because we would definitely win with rose stone and green tea. All right, we'll sell these things just like that. Fantastic. Goodbye, Pierre. I should probably say hello to him, but I'm on. I'm in a rush. All right, we'll go down to see Clint, and then I will write up. Oh, look at those beautiful crocus. We'll gather these. I can give them away as gifts. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are you doing today, Louis? Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? And would you like this? Thanks. This is great. Great. So Louis, the mayor is doing great. And let's dig in Clint's trash. And let's see, Clint, are you here? Yes, Clint. Yes. Dun dun dun. We have a gold hoe now, guys. I will be able to dig and till up so much soil. We now have all of our tools up to gold, except for the scythe, which I have literally never upgraded because I, I guess I could. <laughs> Though that's kind of like the last thing I would literally ever think of upgrading But the next upgrade I want to do is the gold watering can as soon as we have enough of iridium So let's go ahead and give this copper bar to Clint as a gift Darn it. I'm too old to do anything exciting anymore All I have to look forward to is years and years of sweaty hot furnace work Clint that is not true I'll tell you what my my I, my belief is you're never ever too old to follow your dreams And sometimes that means more hot sweaty work in a different direction If you have to work and you have to be hot and sweaty about it Why not put your work into what you love? Oh wow, I didn't know Lewis comes to visit Clint this is a fun gift, thanks. Yay, now the mayor got to see us being super friendly to everybody, and he's going to see us process a few fun geodes. So let's see if we're lucky enough to get either something new so we can try to complete the um, city museum as well as our private museum back on the farm. And let's also see if maybe we get super lucky and we get the prismatic shard, which would be fantastic. We got clay. <laughs> Oh, ooh, but there we go. We got clay and then some Nikoite. But now we're in on the real stuff. We are cracking open the Omni Geodes. Ooh, Star Shards. Star Shards actually sell for a lot, I found out. Um, but the chance of getting an a prismatic shard from anything. Oh yes! More iridium! But the chance of getting a prismatic shard from like anything is apparently super low. It's like five, less than 5% or something like that. No, I think it's even lower than that. So I don't know when we'll ever find the prismatic shard, but that's gonna be like a day where I'm literally going to celebrate because it'll be such a big deal. All right, so we have granite. Ooh, I think that's, is that fire opal? Yep, that's fire opal. Followed right up by a fire quartz. Oh, and I think we have some of those pretty blue things. Yeah, the kyanite. And then we've got, uh, do we have some of those on display? Yeah, the calcite. Here's some stones. Followed by, yeah, we've got lots of the fool's gold. I think this is fool's gold. No, this isn't the fool's gold. Oh, obsidian, nice. I don't think we have some of the obsidian for our personal museum. If, since it doesn't say anything about the museum, that means we have turned it in before. So the, mu the city museum has it, but on our personal farm museum. My goodness, look at all of these different color lumps. <laughs> There's just like several different color uh, yellow lumps. All right, come on, prismatic shard. Come on, you know you want to appear. Prismatic shard. All right, speckled mineral, granite, more rocks. Oh no, we're down to just a few. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna happen, guys. It, I mean, it always could, and we could even end up with artifacts or something cool, but we've had most of these. Oh, come on, prismatic shard. You were just waiting for the final moment, right? Right? Nope. All right, just a bit of iron. That's okay. Look at this hall. We still ended up with a whole bunch of really beautiful gemstones, which makes me quite happy. So it's better than nothing, better than nothing. And now, uh, let's see. All right, Roastone, you stay here. I'm gonna pop up. Well, let's look at the quarry just in case. Just in case. No, there is a ruby, so we can grab a couple of rubies. But unfortunately, there is not a uh, mystic gemstone the way I was really hoping. Let's come over and talk to the dwarf really quickly. It's dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things from my shop to ensure your safety? And we'll go ahead and give him a ruby. I feel really badly now that we know from yesterday that his family actually passed away. That's pretty tough stuff. All right, then let's see. Can I talk to him? 
All right, and we can buy bombs from him in the future day when that's affordable. We're kind of starting to get there a little bit now that I have such amazing amounts of money coming in from... Ooh, and there we go. Oh, I can't get that noodle doodle. Hmm, unless I throw away this clay. Now we have our gold hoe so I can start digging up all these noodle doodles again. Whoa, look, guys! It's one of those... Eh. I can't reach it. It's one of those, like, you can get ores and minerals with our... Okay, hang on. Our little pan that I never use because we never have an opportunity to use it. This thing, our copper pan. All right, hang on just a second. You can only use the copper pan when you find those little spots. It's, it's gone already? Well, gosh darn. What's the point of having those spots? I feel like they're so rare. I've never even seen a mod out there that can make them appear more often what i feel like you should be able to do is maybe use a bit of energy but be able to use your your copper pan more or less any time in a certain spot like i thought you'd be able to put it down and it could kind of act like a crab pot when i first got it but i really don't get what the point of having the copper pot is now <laughs> really truly don't all right well let's go talk to robin We'll get our deer barn set up for our little deer clearing. Uh, while we're over here, I'm going to cut down our tree. <laughs> Which sounds weird, but I need all the wood I can get. And then we can go home and we can add in a ton of kegs. Because I think that's definitely going to help us out. Alright, what's over here? Anything good? Anything good? Beautiful mixed seeds. Oh, hey, Abby! I didn't know- I've been daydreaming a lot. Oh, you want to know what it's about? Well, it's a secret. Abby, I'm married. We can't play this game anymore. Oh, oh, wow. The barn did not need nearly as much money, wood, or stone as I thought. Um, And I don't think I need to build a well. Another silo might be useful in the future so that we can store more feed. But, uh, and I, I'm back and forth on the idea of the slime hutch, maybe in the future. But right now, I'm not, not thinking a slime hutch is what I want to do. And our shed, the one shed we have, is big enough for sure. So let's go ahead and build the barn. So that we can encourage a whole bunch of beautiful wild deer to move into our forest. And we've got plenty of room fantastic i didn't even need to clear away as much room as i did but we're going to tuck it like right up here and then down here we'll have a clearing and then down here we'll let the forest grow back in so i think that'll work out fantastically and we'll just let the deer roam wild there we go all right and that wasn't as expensive as i thought it was going to be either hello demetrius let's see if seasonal nitrogen levels could be modeled by a piecewise function Oh, sorry. I was analyzing data and didn't notice you there. All right, do I have anything I could give him? Maybe a fire quartz? Let's try that. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. Yay, he likes it. And I, unfortunately, I do not have any frozen tears for Sebastian. And I do not have any amethyst to offer to Abigail. So, fooey on that. Oh, hey, little guys. Fly, my little ones. Now let's go get rose stone and we're gonna head home with our pockets full of gemstones. And unfortunately, they are not a prismatic shard or something to add to the city's museum. That's okay. That's okay, it happens sometimes. I don't think there's anything that Krobus sells on Saturdays that I want, but I do wanna check on him really quickly. I wish I had brought more for him. I feel so badly knowing that he lost his home. All right, let's see. On Fridays, I stay silent as a sign of devotion to Yoba. Interesting. And he's selling ice cream today. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Okay, so he's selling ice cream. Uh, I kind of feel like grabbing it. and I'm going to grab it and give it to Jazz on our way home. Or maybe I'll just I'll eat it or give it to Leia or something. But I like buying what Krobus sells because I feel like he's trying really hard to learn about human culture by like cooking human food. So I like to imagine, oh, hey, Willie, hey, you want some ice cream? You like this stuff, huh? How's the fishing life going for you? I try to fish as often as possible, but it's not easy when you got a shop to run. I tell you about it, like, Willie, trust me, when you've got a farm to run, it's equally as difficult. All right, let's see, let's do this. Snow yam! They actually sell for quite a bit, so that makes me very happy. All right, and we'll run this way. But yeah, I do love fishing, and I really, 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 really love fishing when we are, um... I really love fishing when we have so much uh, treasure all the time. Now that we have that pirate upgrade, holy moly, that's exciting. All right, so let's get in here. 
And we're gonna put away as many of our stray gemstones and pieces as possible. I love having all of this stuff. I can't wait to add more to display. In fact, let's go ahead and really quickly, we'll build another little wall for displays, I think. And the rest of it is ores down here that I need to take. Here's that ocean stone. Sell that, store this. Store this, keep this over here. There we go, and we have a lot of wood so we can go down and make a ton of those kegs, finally. That'll be the big thing that we finish the day off on. All right, oh, and I don't have the furniture catalog here. I forgot I took it back and I put it back in the house so that I could decorate for Christmas. All right, well, Ocean Stone, you're gonna go ahead and go in here. Fantastic, and I like this little bookshelf. I like to imagine you can grab a, a pamphlet or some informational books and then walk through my museum. And we will work more on the museum in the future. I'm just still super frantic running from side to side trying to get what I can done on my farm. Okay, let's go up. And I think next job is to make as many kegs as possible. So let's get the copper up and going. And I don't have enough iridium to get the iridium going just yet. And I almost wonder if we have time, if we might go down to the small mines near our house so that I can get more copper. Cause I have a surprising amount of iron for being able to make kegs. And now we're just gonna make as many kegs as we possibly can. Ooh, and there's little noodle doodles. A bit of clay, but yeah, we're gonna make as many kegs as we possibly can. For the sake, oh, and actually I have new spots to store, like mixed seeds go in here, clay goes in here, pine tar could go in there. I love that little hidden seed shed area we've made. I think it'll really pay off in the future. All right, let's do this. Oh, look at the little Rowan. He's still hanging out, hanging out by the, the tree. That's so fantastic. All right, and we've got all those. And then I've got wood. All right, and I'm gonna get my speed boost back. Make Leia a little bit more coffee. I really hope, I, I can't remember if she's given me the star drop fruit or not. I wish there was a way that I could check, but I know grandpa is gonna visit us. His spirit will visit us on the third year. So I wanna be ready for that. All right, and here we go, guys. I'm gonna grab the ancient fruits. There we go, we've got tons of them. And let's see how many of the kegs we can get. And I'm gonna move all this down here. Yeah, on you. So we're gonna get as many kegs as possible and then fill them with the ancient fruit. And I think we're gonna run out of copper is my suspicion before anything else. Whew, all right, so let's make some more money. Let's make a lot more money. There's that, there's that, here's this one. Let's go ahead and put this one right here. And why not this one right here and this one right here. And let's grab the ancient fruits, start putting them in. Okay, everybody has an ancient fruit. And I've got three more. So, and I did just grab some copper and put some copper outside. Uh, and then I can do another line right here so that our cellar is just gonna be like full. And I wanna leave little avenues. <laughs> Again, I'm not going for being like the most absolute efficient and having as many kegs as possible because then I would put them up in the empty tunnel that's actually to the north. Evelyn, your birthday! I saw the cake and I just remembered, Evelyn, I'm coming. It's her birthday. I should have brought something for George too. Noodle little worms, I will get you on my way back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot little Evelyn's birthday. I would feel just terrible about that. Move, Rosestone, move. Fly like the wind. We're gonna wish Evelyn a happy birthday, gosh darn. Evelyn, hey. Siri, have I told you that George and I have lived in our house for 30 years? Oh, that's so sweet. That's actually, in real life, one of the goals Chips and I have is to find a home that we can make into a home like that. So we're looking into that. Um, and I'm really hoping that we'll be able to find that place in the future. It'll be about another 10 years before uh, he's done with his PhD program and hopefully finds a job that'll be like his perma job. So it's gonna be a long time, but Evelyn, I really, I envy you. I think that's fantastic and happy birthday. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you, I love it. Oh, I'm so glad she's happy. I guess it's interesting that some people are totally different than us, you know? I don't always understand why others act the way they do, but that's fine. Alex, you have really grown. I love the idea. Uh, my idea for Alex is that he actually is getting his CNA now so he can be a nursing assistant so he can help out the elderly like George. 
The weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it goes when you're retired. Oh, there you go, George. I wish I could bring him cookies every day. That might be like one of my goals in the future. Oh, and also I found a mod that'll make it so you can see Dusty the dog and give him a proper yard and you can even pet him. That's definitely on my list of things to do in the future. All right, come along, Rostone. We shall ride back home and continue our adventure. Oh, and there's my noodle doodle worms. Continue our adventure in filling the basement full of kegs because we're going to make ancient fruit juice. I do not drink wine myself, so that's why I always say juice because I just think it's kind of fun. All right, anything over here? Nope. But if you really, really, really want... There's a crocus hiding down there where I can't reach it. How frustrating. If you really want to make tons of money, what you're supposed to do is fill this entire cave absolutely full of kegs and maybe i would do that one day but that's not really something i'm interested in right now as a way to kind of exploit oh look at the owl Hoo -hoo. hi buddy as a way to kind of like exploit that to be able to make tons of money off of the ancient fruits all right there we go and then when spring comes we'll cut down that big old when spring comes we're going to cut down this big cab or this big cabbage oh my gosh siri that big pumpkin and we are going to have uh some junimos move in so i'm going to say that you have to grow a giant something like a giant pumpkin or a giant melon uh I, let's see what's the other one there's pumpkin melon and is it turnip i'm gonna have to look into what the giant things are but I like to say that you have to grow one of those and it shows that your farm is healthy enough and thriving enough that the Junimo would move in. So that's my requirement for the Junimo to move in. All right, let's get this guy down. Here we go. Sorry, big trees. It feels so weird to cut down all my big trees. I know that they're gonna grow with spring, but still. And now I know where I can plant them all again. So I feel a little bit better about that. I should probably go ahead. Oh, there was some noodle doodles hiding down there. Yay, our little barn is under construction, guys. All right, what you doing there, little noodle doodle? All right, so that's clay. And now that we have a gold hoe, we might be able to gather up a lot more of the cave carrots and maybe even artifacts in the caves a lot faster. All right, let's grab this. And then we'll go check on the copper because the copper is actually the thing that we need the most of. Okay, let's see if this drops any acorns. It dropped a maple seed. That's what I needed. There we go. We need to get more maples, too. All right, Rowstone. There you are, my dear. Let's go see how our copper is doing. Need a lot of wood. However, we might start buying more of our wood from Robin now that I'm starting to pull in a little bit more money. All right, and we're going to go ahead and get a couple more copper bars. So it looks like we can have about six today. So I'm going to leave behind. Let's grab four. Yeah, it looks like we can have about six more. Yep, oh, and I'm gonna grab those acorns because that might be pretty useful for me. We can have about six more of the um, invalid position. What do you mean invalid position? It's adorable. Six more of the kegs before that'll be all that I can get planted for now. And then I wonder, the chickens need open area over there. Where can I plant more of these adorable seeds? The oaks and the maples that I need. All right, let's run back up. Are you guys done? Yes, all right. Yeah, so we get six more. Good, good, good. I need one, two, and then I've got all of that. Good, okay. So we can have six more kegs down in the basement. And that was a pretty full and fulfilling day, I think, you guys. Whew. I definitely, now that we're getting the kegs kind of taken care of, do need to start thinking about other things like what to do with the rest of the greenhouse. The greenhouse is another place where we could be making a ton more money if I really put my mind to it. We truly could. All right, let's grab that because we could put the whole thing just absolutely full of cranberries or things like that. And then we would really be making a lot more money too. All right, let's line up with kegs. But again, it's not about, it's, it's about the adventure. It's about the daily journey. It's about having been a, a ancient fruit wine tycoon baron who suddenly ran away from her duties because I remembered I forgot to make a, literal, a little elderly woman her birthday cake. And that was worth more to me than all of these kegs we have now added in. Look at all of this and we still have so much more. We're really 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 starting to move and groove when it comes to the ancient fruit. There we go. 
All right, who knows what next we're gonna do. I, we just come up with new things to keep us busy every single time, I feel. Oh, and I was supposed to take Gus his coconut. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gus, I will bring you your coconut. All right, we'll put away the cake because we have now fed my family that cake for the day. And I feel like that's pretty good. All right, maybe what we can do to just try to help a little bit with my projects. Oh, and my green tea wore off just in time. What we'll do to try to help just a teensy bit more with my projects is maybe see if we can empty some of this. I need to make, okay, so if I have a fish chest downstairs, I have just enough wood to make one more chest. So let's make a forage chest for wild things because I feel like Leia would love that. Like in the fiddleheads count, coconuts count, winter roots count, normal yams don't count, uh, blackberries count, and then salmon berries. All these guys are things that you can... All these guys down here are things that you can forge. Same with the crocus. And we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna make another chest. And I think fish things will stay there. And then food, like plant things will come over here. Hmm, like, well, fish, maybe more fish. Fish are probably gonna take up a few of those spots. So right here, I'm going to turn a light green chest and this is going to be all the items that you can find in the wild so these will be all of the forging items that i find while we're out and about so that'll go down here and this is how we're starting to sort a proper root cellar which having grown up in missouri <laughs> with basements and worries about tornadoes and food storage being a big thing that my family was into i'm very used to having root cellars and they always make me feel so much more confident i have a root cellar in zoo crafting for that reason because it's like ah oh, thank goodness everything is going to be okay now that we have a little root cellar uh what do i we have a lot of eggs we don't need this many types of eggs so i'm going to put those there and then I can hopefully move the eggs into one of these chests. There we go. See, and we've got more things we can move around, but it's after midnight. So now we'll go ahead and go to sleep. And what a busy day. I feel like that was a great day. We accomplished quite a bit. I'm actually going to have to kind of sit and think about what we're going to do next time. But for now, we have more ancient fruit kegs put in. We have a barn being built. We picked up our hoe from Clint. There's an alien in the background. <laughs> what? That's awesome! And we saw some aliens. So that was really awesome, guys. Didn't make that much money, but we're putting down the groundwork to make hopefully a ton more. And we gave a little old woman her birthday cake. Feeling pretty good about life right now. I gotta be honest. But alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!